Okay, guys. So today we are going to start the presentation on how to build a great LinkedIn content strategy. All right. So what I'll do is I'll open my LinkedIn account side by side. So you get to know what should be the great LinkedIn strategy. Yeah. So I'll come back to the presentation. So we'll try to understand the pointers. So guys, how are you going to build a great LinkedIn content strategy? Okay. So LinkedIn has a V energy work. Okay. So understand the V energy. What is V energy? When you are actually going to create posts and content in the LinkedIn platform, right? So basically this is the collective team. No, it's a collective team, which gives you the voice of peer energy. All right. And now you have to keep some specific guidelines when you're actually interacting on LinkedIn, right? So you have to talk to people on LinkedIn, like your colleagues. This is one thing. Then you have to think like your colleagues and your peers, how are you going to interact with them and what type of energy you would like to reciprocate. Okay. So guys, everybody can see my screen, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Okay. Yes, sir. So the best tip when it comes to enhance your LinkedIn content strategy is okay. So what is more important? You have to put your content in place integrated with the leadership skills. So ideally what we think is LinkedIn is like a professional platform, but rather than thinking like this, you have to think like LinkedIn is a leadership platform. If you think like this and, and you are treat all your connections as a colleagues, as a peers, then definitely you can have a successful content strategy. Okay. So what I do is I'll open LinkedIn now. Okay. So see if this is LinkedIn, right? Okay. So you know, you have a lot of posts on a LinkedIn platform. Okay. So ideally what do you see? For example, uh, she's my LinkedIn connect, Dr. Natalia. Okay. So she has recently published a post here. Okay. So ideally how many likes she has got 78 likes, 55 comments. So this is the type of content she is publish publishing, right? So basically you need to understand what are the key components when you are actually publishing content on the LinkedIn platform. So first is called, see, if you like Pina Kolajas. So this is called as hook. The three main components of a LinkedIn co content strategy is hook, story, and offer. Okay. So what type of hook you're going to give? Okay. So I will explain this in the presentation. How are you going to have that? Okay. So, so basically these pointers you need to keep in mind. Okay. So I'll go back to the presentation deck now. Now, you have to think as if you're going to start high level of content strategy categories. So now what categories are there on the LinkedIn platform? Okay. So, so that you can try to get into more specifications. The first category is industry insights. Okay. When you are publishing content on the LinkedIn platform, you have to make sure that you focus on the industry insights. So now, the best way to think about the industry insight is relevant news in your industry. Okay. So, but what you have to do is you can share your additional opinion. Okay. As a company or a brand. All right. So I will tell you exa exactly how this has to be implemented. Another example of an industry insight is any kind of relevant conference or event or podcast you recently listened to that you are able to share as a post. Okay, guys, so now let's do practicals. So let's say, for example, you, you are in the niche of digital marketing. Okay. So you want, you want to know the industry insights. So digital marketing. So what you have to do is I'll tell you a very simple strategy. Before I go to LinkedIn search, go to Google and type digital marketing plus industry insights. Okay. So here, what you'll get 2000 
21 digital marketing trends. So we get the insights from here. So what you have to do is, or you can get some industry insights from this particular URL. <coughs> so I'll just give you an example here. Okay, so think with Google. So what are the top digital marketing trends and predictions for 2021? So what you have to do is you have to research this URL then you have to give your opinion on the trends of digital marketing either through your company page or through your personal brand so this is how you have to write about the industry inside so what are the trends happening around in digital marketing okay so let's say for example in the, you are in the niche of hospitality you are in the niche of healthcare industry so what industry insights are happening around what are the trends happening around so based on the trends of your industry you have to write an update so accordingly then your post will get more engagement I hope this is clear, right, guys? Okay. Yeah. So yes, let's, move, let's move forward. Now, what is the second category? Is storytelling, guys. If you have to be successful in LinkedIn marketing, you have to be a good copywriter. Okay. So I'll show you how you can create a storytelling post with some live examples. So we want to see some some of the scenes of your business you want to get access to your team what is happening around so that get to know the experiences as well as the stories which is happening in the back end of a business right so what type of stories which happens in the back end it usually it could be operations okay it could be in marketing it could be in business development okay so these type of stories happen in the business operations Right. So this is kind of storytelling post which you have to integrate. Okay. So we'll discuss in practical. So let me explain you the fundamentals here. Okay. So next point is you have to share action oriented type of post. Okay. Like for example, before what was the situation after what was the situation or a team that is attending a conference. Okay. So action oriented type of post works very well on the LinkedIn platform. Okay. Then storytelling post, it works really well on the LinkedIn platform. So let's do quick practical here. I go back to LinkedIn here. Okay. So what I'll do is I scroll down to the news feed. So, so if you want to analyze, analyze what type of storytelling post you have to analyze. So what you have to do is it's simple logic. Okay. So what is the logic here? Analyze the influencer in your niche. Influencers in your niche. Yeah. Okay. Then what you have to do is go to the activity section. Then what you have to do is you have to analyze those posts which has maximum engagement. Right. Okay. So let's do a quick niche. I'll go to google.com. Okay. So what syntax I'm going to type here is digital marketing plus influencers plus LinkedIn. Right. Okay. So there are 15 marketing influencers and experts to follow on LinkedIn. So you can do a lot of research on Google in the back end, right? To get the data. For example, top 20 digital marketing influencers to follow on LinkedIn. Okay. So I am going to tell you how are you going to analyze the storytelling post from your influencers so you get a fair idea how to create good, good decent post. Let's say this is Whitney Johnson. I'll copy this here. Okay. So I'll copy this URL here. I click here I she's the influencer on LinkedIn platform. Okay. So I'm already following her. So I click on Vitaly Johnson. Okay. So see, she is having one, seven, nine, four, four, six on followers. That's a lot, you know, that's a lot any followers she's having. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to her activity section. Okay. So this is the activity section here, right? Okay. So now from this, 
I need to identify which type of post is having maximum engagement. So, okay, so let's say for example, I go back here. So what I do is, you can get a lot of data for you. See, let's say for example, this post is having 147 reactions, 13 comments. Okay, so let's analyze this particular post. What she's written, each of us has a distinctive trait, something that you do well and it differentiates you from others. Disrupting yourself and identifying this trait could be a life changer for you. What makes you up for your toolbox, right? Okay, so see, she has created this post and if I click on this link, open a new tab, where it takes, so she has created a detailed post on LinkedIn Pulse. As you know, she has written an update and given a link to her LinkedIn Pulse. Right. So see, she has written a storytelling post in her article. Right. Okay. See, see the beginning. TV host, author, and podcaster. Mike Rowe would have been a construction worker if not for the advice from his grandfather. Find a different toolbox. In my conversation with Mike on Disrupt Yourself podcast, the counsel he received from his grandfather sounded to be very similar to the second accident of growth. So what do you understand from this? Okay, so storytelling type of post and in the first paragraph itself, she started with a hook. Okay, I hope this is clear, right? Yeah. So guys, this is how you have to work. Okay. Then you can create action oriented type of post. Okay, for example, before digital, before you started digital marketing campaign, what results the business was achieving? And after you started digital marketing campaign, what type of results are you achieving? So you can create before and after. So this is applicable in any kind of service industry, healthcare industry, hospitality industry. You can just create a comparison type of post here. Okay, so if you do these type of post guys, definitely your post is going to have a higher engagement. Yeah. Okay, so now the last category is to be relatable. Okay, so what do I mean by being relatable is it either to be a humorous type of post that can be related from whatever content you find from books or any type of podcast. Okay, so this is what you have to have. The most important thing, guys, we have to recognize each of this category that every category needs to have a human element. Okay, and free post of you guys needs to have a human element. This is very important. You just cannot write it in a monotonous way because nowadays every successful social media marketer, successful LinkedIn marketer, YouTube marketer, they have to know copywriting. Okay, so the way you present yourself in your content, it all depends on that. What type of engagement you're going to get with respect to your content on the LinkedIn platform. Okay, so every post needs to have a human element. This is one of the most significant takeaway through each of these categories. If you want access to your thoughts and insights on current articles and news. Okay, guys. So after the end of the session, I'm going to give you assignments. Okay, and you have to finish the assignment because if I just keep giving presentation, this will not help you guys. You have to do the assignment simultaneously. Okay, then what you have to do is you have to share your professional insights in a very personalized method way. Okay, so this is the next part. Now, let's move forward. If ever you want to have a great LinkedIn content strategy. So now let's discuss what is the quick post formula that can plug all the LinkedIn content. What is that? As we discussed, you have to open up with a hook. I have told you initially, you have to open with a hook. So now you might be wondering, what is a hook? Hook is nothing but a value based statement that the audience knows why this post is going to matter to them. Hook is nothing but a simple value based statement. Okay. Now, the next part of the content formula is intrigue line. Okay. So now you might be wondering what is intrigue line basically? The, the goal is very simple, guys. 
tool is to get people to click on the see more to expand the entire post. I will tell you how this works. So now we want to know in that intricate line, if you're about to tell us a story, give us something relatable or give us the insights into a use topic. Okay, guys. So now let's try to explore what is hook, what is intricate line. And okay, let's do that. So we will start doing that by analyzing influencers first. Okay. So what I do is I take this influencer, Clara. She. If you adopt this strategy, guys, this would really help you. Okay. So I take it as Clara. Okay. She is one of our influencers here. Yeah. I go to her activity section here. See her post. I click on post here and click on post. Okay, so, so what you can see, her one of her posts has got 673 engagement, 49 comments. Okay, so we will analyze this particular post of Clara, right? Okay. So what you see, guys, see. Pros and cons I have observed so far of startup versus a big company life. Big company. So what you see, first three lines. Okay. The much easier to land external meeting with pretty much anyone. Okay. So she has started with the hook. If your initial se section is pretty interesting enough, then definitely user will go and he will read the next part of the content right okay so these first three lines are called for first line is hook the remaining two lines are intrigue lines and then user can click on expand more okay so, so this is something you have to keep in mind guys while creating a linkedin post okay so you have to start your content with hook hook is nothing but a value-based statement what value are you going to give to your target audience okay after the read your post. So it has to be very creative, super creative. Understand what, what are they going to get out of it? So that value-based statement is has to be there in the first line. Then in the remaining two lines, you have to understand, you have to write the intrigue lines. What are the key benefits they are going to get out from this post? So you have to write in the next two lines. Then user will read the complete post. That's how your post will get more engagement on the LinkedIn platform. Okay. I hope this is clear because I have shown you live examples here. Yeah. So it's pretty simple. Follow the influencers in your niche, then identify those posts which is having maximum engagement. Try to understand their style of writing, what they have integrated. Okay. And just duplicate the successful strategies of the influencers and try to be more creative. It's so simple hack when it comes to your LinkedIn marketing strategy. It's, it's not a rocket science at all, but end of the day, your research part has to be pretty detailed enough. You have to be, you have to be doing consistent research when you're creating any type of content on the LinkedIn platform guys. Okay. Make sense. Yeah. Now, and the last part of the formula, what is that? You have to give people a call to action. Okay, you have to earn that right for call to action. So what do I mean by that is, if you have given them the value, okay, then you have given them the key information in the entry lines, you have given the deliverables, then you give them something what they have to do. Either that means is what, Either they can book a call or direct people to click on any one of the buttons you have created above in your company page. Okay, guys. So this is something you have to understand. Okay. What are the key benefits? First is your hook, then your intrigue line. Okay. Then your call to action. End of the day, Call to action is applicable on all kinds of social media posts as well. When you're doing it, Facebook marketing, LinkedIn marketing, YouTube marketing, 
or any type of content which has been published on Google as well. Call to action has a significant importance. Okay, so I'll tell you a live example how call to actions are integrated. So one bonus tip before I give you practicals is that you have to use that call to action to match the language you have used in that short tagline, okay, which you have created for the company page. So I'll show you a live example here, okay. So what I'll do is, we'll take one more influencer here, Brian Solis. Click here. So here you get post posted by date posted sort by author industry or filters. So I follow this influencer. Then Brian Solis is here. Okay. So I click here. See, he is an influencer. He's a global innovation evangelist. Right. So let's take one post which has maximum engagement. So this particular post has got 416 reactions, 18 comments. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to this post here. So let's do a quick analysis. How they are using the post. Right. Okay. You spend a lot of time inside your head. Do your best to make it a nice place to be. Then if I click here, click on open a new tab. So you have to understand why this post has got maximum engagement. Okay. The first thing I'll come back to call to action, but I'll tell you what are the key pointers. First is this follower base is pretty good enough. Second thing is he has used trending hashtags. Okay. Then third thing is he has used hook a value based statement. Fourth thing is your image with a post. This is called one more type of post. Your, Im your image with a post is very appealing. Okay. You spend most of your life inside of your head. Make it a nice place to be. So ideally your image is very appealing. That's why this post is getting maximum engagement. Right. So guys, I click on the home screen now. You, you create any post here. Okay. Let's say for example, so I at the bottom of the screen I click here. One second, I'll just show you. See, this is symbol. Okay, valuable statement. After symbol, these are intricate lines here. Okay, so now. What do you see here? It is your time to shine in ATX, higher live interaction, high engagement, global cohort. So this is kind of indirect call to action. Okay. So they have created a simple post here, but in the last they have, there are two ways to write a call to action. Either you can directly write a call to action, book now, call now, sign up now, get your free trial, or you can directly Ask the user, but express it in a different way when you're integrating the call to action. Okay. Okay, guys. I, have, I hope this is clear. Now let's get into the content types. So what are the content types? First is, I think this, this part is pretty okay. And we have already discussed. One is commenting. So as a company page, you can comment in the news feed as a company brand. Okay. The easiest way for you to engage on the platform and comment is to first reply to comments already happening on your own content. So you have to reply to the comment. Second thing is you have to go out and engage and reply to people who are already tagging your brand and your company in their post. So this is something you have to do. See, engagement is pretty very important as I've already discussed with you guys. Just publish a content on the LinkedIn platform. This is not going to help you at all. The first thing is every single day you have to engage on the post of your target market. 
for example if let's say if you are serving healthcare industry if you are serving hospitality industry so what you have to do is you have to add all the connections who are in the hospitality industry okay so then you have to make sure that you have to engage on your post so this is something you have to keep in mind engagement is important because once you start engaging with your post this will really help you out and the most easiest way to comment as a brand is to go out in those community hashtags right for example where your content is already trending okay and then it continues to pop up and get visibility for your company brand within those three community hashtags that we have generated so ideally what is the logic okay i'll let me show you a quick logic quick example here okay so you'll understand how are you going to do it okay so i click on see more okay so let's analyze any of the post where hashtags have been integrated right okay so so for example he has integrated this hashtag go rock this day okay he has integrated this hashtag so ideally this hashtag has 560 followers so ideally what you have to do is you have to engage on these type of post okay okay on the hashtag of go rock this day so you have to use those hashtags in your post which is pretty similar to your target customers because you need lead from your target customers right so you have to use those trending hashtags okay so i'll take a separate mm -hmm. session on how to find trending hashtags on linkedin what type of hashtags you have to use i'll take a separate meeting on that i hope this is clear right okay the next content type is shares when you share content on linkedin the reason it gets more visibility is when you add your own opinion okay so here comes the most important point that this is the value that your ideal client is looking to follow up and engage with your company page your content needs to get maximum shares another great way to think about linkedin content sharing to your company page is to go out and see what your team is creating on their individual profiles and then you can use that content in a different way with some different repurposing and then you can publish that content on your linkedin as well okay so this is a part of a content repurposing process okay guys then as we already discussed that our linkedin has needs to have an image with a text post that we have already discussed you have to show real images instead of stock images this is something very important guys we 90% of our linkedin post we use stock images so why don't you use a real life images so that people will know you okay so keep keep this in mind next time you're going to publish a linkedin post okay take your real picture write a ni nice linkedin update and then use a real picture in a linkedin post so that you will establish a brand so guys keep in mind try to use real life pictures instead of stock photos okay because why the company wants to connect with you and your brand and you should take advantage by sharing the real images with your branding so your actual picture is something very important so that people start recognizing you avoid using stock images please okay then the next content type which you can use is external links right so here is something which you guys have to implement okay so that right so links that go out to news this is pretty simple i need not give explanation on that links that go out to news features blog posts youtube videos those are external links which you guys know how to integrate that right okay right and the last part which i would like to discuss is something for it that you you can have to publish video content consistently if you guys are video marketer then you can alternatively publish pre recorded or live video content on the linkedin platform okay so it's pretty simple nowadays if you want to upload a video all you have to do is you just go to your stated box then upload a file which you guys have created then if you like to prefer to do something a bit more interactive like q and a or live stream you can use the linkedin live option guys i hope this is pretty clear okay so i'll stop the meeting now and definitely you know i'll give you assignments immediately i'll share the screenshot in the whatsapp group and please make sure everybody does the assignments okay yeah so guys i hope this this is pretty clear yeah okay so you have any questions to be asked
हेलो हेलो डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन टू बी आस्ट ओके और राइट गाइज then thank you so much for valuable time i share the recording of this video in the group i share the assignments as well and make sure you guys do your assignments okay thank you so much for valuable time and looking forward to see you with your assignments have a good day bye bye